what's up baby we are back to talk about some sports welcome back to the channel it has been so long since we've been able to say that we could talk about sports sports were canceled back when the nba season was put to a halt when rudy gobert tested positive for covid19 really changed the world i feel like that's when corona and all this stuff really started happening we started having mandatory statewide nationwide quarantines Things have been crazy. I hope everyone's been staying safe, but sports are back. It all started back a little bit ago uh, when basketball agreed to open up their bubble. They bought out a couple hotels in Orlando, uh, the Disney properties. They're going to be playing games, including the NBA playoffs and the finals, inside of Disney World hotels. So crazy to me, but they pulled it off. No positive tests so far. We got 22 teams in the bubble ready to compete for a championship. Some of them have no chance. Some of them are some of our favorite teams to watch. The Lakers, Clippers, Rockets, Bucks. It's going to be so entertaining and I just can't wait. We had a couple scrimmages happen. Right now they're playing eight consolation games for each team just to reseed the playoffs. Playoffs will start in the middle of August and then we're going to see everybody chase down that Larry O'Brien I'm so excited for my Lakers. I think the Clippers are real scary too. The Bucks have a real shot at it. Then you got a couple outside teams, the Houstons and the Denvers and the Boston Celtics. Tons of great players in the bubble. I've been enjoying every bit of how the NBA has been handling this whole situation. Um, since I've really talked to you guys about sports last, we've had a lot of things going nationwide with, um, you know, nationwide protests and uh, various things regarding social justice issues that the, the country's been facing. But the NBA's done a great job of allowing players to really speak however they feel. Some players have different stances on social justice issues and other issues, but giving them the opportunity in Orlando, in the bubble, to speak out on what they feel is right for the nation, I love every bit of it. Um, whether we agree or not with certain opinions of different players. I'm glad that we can all have an opportunity to speak our minds and more importantly, watch some sports. I feel like sports brings us all together. Basketball, I'm so excited for. We also got baseball back. Each team's played about 10 games so far. Baseball season's returned. How it's gonna work is there's gonna be 60 games. Every team's gonna play 60 games. At the end of the season, they're gonna take the top eight from each uh, league, the American League and National League. It's gonna be a 16 team playoffs. This whole season's been so interesting. We got new rules. We got the um, universal designated hitter rule making for more offense, which is exciting. We got expanded rosters. We got a runner on second in extra innings. Basically, you know, shorten up those 17, 18, 19 inning playoff games that drag on sometimes. It's so pretty much every um, inning beyond the ninth, they're going to have a runner on second with the opportunity to score, um, giving them three outs to move a runner over two bases. You know, I don't love it, um, but it definitely has shortened up the games. I feel like it's not as true to baseball. But the universal designated hitter has been awesome so far. We haven't had to worry about you know, a pitcher's spot throwing off the rhythm of an offense. It's honestly been so entertaining so far. We got the Dodgers doing their thing. We got the Yankees. A couple different surprise teams. The Giants of all teams are above 500, even though we thought they'd be tanking. It's going to be a real interesting season, especially baseball being so exclusive. I feel like over the years, you got your, you know, top, top, what is it? four or five teams in the playoffs competing, but now expanded playoff seedings. We're gonna have eight teams in each league. It's gonna be a lot to take in. Longer playoffs, it's gonna be real exciting. The NBA though, I could not be more hyped for. It's really so much to talk about and such little time because we gotta take all this sports in while we can. We don't know if it could be taken from us. We saw the NBA season canceled middle of the season. Um, baseball was just about to start up and they had to cancel. We pray, we hope and pray that the NFL season can return. You know, we want to watch Tom Brady in Tampa with Gronkowski. We want to watch, you know, all these new acquisitions. 
Tua in Miami. We want to see Joe Burrow. He just got drafted. We want to see Cam Newton in New England. It's going to be so many different um, interesting NFL headlines that we pray we get to see. They need to iron out their protocols um, with the COVID-19 testing and making sure players are safe. We've already seen a lot of players, uh, notably eight different New England Patriots, opt out of the season. I don't care if Patriots opt out. Who cares about the Patriots? We want them to lose worldwide. I think everybody wants New England to lose, especially given that Tom Brady's gone. But we do want everyone to be safe, and we do want to have an NFL season. Um, I definitely want it to happen. I'm banking on winning my fantasy league this year. So we really do want the NFL to return. So let's hope that they iron out everything they need to in order to have a safe season. The NBA, I think, is the real model of how the operation should run. Keeping everyone quarantined in a bubble, um, you know, regular testing, that should virtually ensure that nobody can test positive for COVID-19 unless you're Lou Williams who snuck out of the bubble saying he had a personal family issue just to go hit, uh, get him some hot wings and hang out with some strippers in Magic City. Lou Will, what are you doing, bro? Uh, they only you know, made him sit out for 10 days while he was quarantining um, once he returned to the bubble, but those must have been some good hot wings, bro. He was kicking it with Jack Harlow over at a strip club. Uh, Lou Will, you are a clown, bro, but honestly, I respect it. Point being, though, we want the seasons to continue. We hope that the NBA bubble is really the guideline that will work to ensure the safety of you know players and their health. Um, and it's tough. I mean, they're away from their families. They're living in hotel rooms. It's not exactly favorable conditions, but none of us are living in favorable conditions right now. But honestly, I think this is all gonna go away soon. Um, everything takes time. And I'm just thankful we got sports back. Let's make sure baseball, I know there's been a lot of positive tests um, in a couple different clubhouses. Uh, I think, you know, you got the, the Cardinals, the Marlins, a couple different teams tested positive, had a couple positive tests by players and coaches for COVID-19. But we do want the season to continue, especially with those expanded playoffs. I cannot wait for that. And I personally think my Dodgers are taking it all this year. Uh, I think the Lakers are taking it all too, but I am incredibly scared of those Clippers. Opening night, I hope you guys caught that. Lakers versus Clippers. Lakers with a two-point dub. It was a close game. Um, of course, no Lou Williams, no Montrez Harrell, but it was awesome to watch. Entertaining to say the least, and I'm so glad sports are back. Make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to have a more organized video soon. I know today I just wanted to get a uh, post out there telling you guys how excited I am that sports are back. And I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So stay tuned to the channel. Also subscribe to it. I would really appreciate it. Let's get these subscribers up, get some more hype around the channel. And I can't wait to see it grow so I can get more sports content out to you guys. Tell you a little bit more about my life too. So thank you so much. Sports are back, baby. I'm out of here.